Is it burnt or is it blackened? There's a fine line between the two. If you've never tried a blackened fish before, this recipe is going to blow your mind. It's fiery, and I mean literally. Try not to set your smoke detector off. It's bursting with flavors and so easy to make. I know you're gonna love it. This is the ultimate guide to blackened halibut. Today, we're making the blackened seasoning ourselves. Of course, a store-bought seasoning is fine to use, but you most likely have all of the ingredients in your pantry to make it yourself. I like to make my own because that way I can control the amount of salt in the seasoning. With a DIY seasoning mix, you can also control how spicy you want it to be by adding more or less cayenne pepper. I like mine really spicy, as you probably already know. I'm not exaggerating. This blackened seasoning recipe is perfect for everything, and especially great for seafood. Today we're using halibut, but you can easily substitute with salmon, catfish, trout, or any fish of choice. Here comes the start of the dish, the halibut. For blackening any protein, the key is to make sure the surface is super dry before you start. So take your time patting it dry while you prep. Once you have a super dry halibut filet, we're gonna sprinkle some seasoning on top and pat it into the skin gently yet firmly. Essentially, we're creating a crust on the outside of the fish, so you want it to stick so that it doesn't fall apart while it's cooking. For me, the golden ratio of seasoning to fish is two teaspoons of seasoning for each filet. This ratio gives you the most flavor without being overpowering. Make sure all sides are completely covered in the seasoning, then we're ready to cook. For blackening the fish, make sure you're only using medium heat. If the pan is too hot, it might overcook the seasoning before the fish is done. And as we keep saying in this series, we wanna cook them low and slow. Once you start to see smoke coming from the pan, place your fillets one at a time and make sure to leave space. We're trying to get a nice sear on them. And if they're too close together, they'll steam instead. Once they're in the pan, turn the heat to medium low. This is gonna help us blacken the seasoning without burning it. After two to three minutes, flip and cook for another two to three minutes until your fillets are fully cooked. Look at that color. I'm salivating now just looking at them. Oh, and make sure your fan is on. It's gonna get real smoky in here. You can eat your blackened halibut as is at this point, and it will be delicious. Today, we're gonna to bring this dish to the next level by making a simple lemon butter sauce. This will help balance the spice levels in the seasoning and bring some extra flavor to the table. Cook your aromatics in a splash of oil until they start to smell really good. Then add in white wine and lemon juice. The acidity helps to cut through the richness of the butter and bring out more sweetness from the blackened fish. Now, once the sauce is reduced by half, remove the pan from the heat and start adding your butter cubes one at a time until each one is fully melted. If you go too fast, your sauce will split, and we don't want that. At this point, I know you just want to dig in, but be patient. Once all the butter is melted, let's brighten it up with some lemon zest, and then we're ready to eat. And here it is, tender, flavor-packed fish with a rich and vibrant sauce. Trust me, it's to die for. You have to give this recipe a try and let me know how it turns out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of our new delicious recipes. See you next time.